Huh? <laughs> Take! Yeah! What? Ang init! Okay, let's do this. Hi! I'm Christine Concepcion, also known as Tutor Casey. I've been teaching for over six years now. I was one of the ambassadors in 2018. And this is my life as a rare job tutor. Um, morning. <laughs> Did that say attendance? I usually wake up at 4.30 because the earliest lesson is at 5 a.m. This is actually my second alarm already. Washing my face and brushing my teeth are the first things I do. Work, 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 clean air, correct. I don't want to come back. <laughs> Hello! I'm ready to teach. It's easy the day. I just need my glasses and I'm good to go. I often brew coffee beans, but if there isn't enough time, I prepare instant coffee. Gotta start the day right. Oh, hi! So, I'm here in our dining area and this is where I usually teach because it's easy to access food. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I like teaching here because this is the plainest background that I have in my house, so students won't be distracted when I teach them. And I also like the light, the lighting actually. I have two sources of light. I turn them on when necessary. When I teach, I have some rare job essentials. Pen holder. Notebook. A mouse pad. I like this. Some water in a rare job mug. Beauty vlogger. <laughs> so it's important to stay hydrated because as you know, it's very hot in the Philippines. Like Actually today, it's quite hot. So on days when it's too hot, I teach somewhere else. So this is where I teach whenever it's too hot. This is my room and this tiny corner is the plainest background I could find. And I stay here on hot days because there's an air conditioner. I usually teach here maybe in the afternoons, but sometimes even at night because, as you know, it's always hot in the Philippines. <laughs> Just like the start of the day, let me segue to the start of the Rare Job Ambassador Program. So the Ambassador Program started in 2015. I took the online test, but I did not pass. In 2016, I actually made it to the top 10. I was so devastated when I wasn't chosen. <laughs> I did join again in 2017. I wasn't able to meet some of the criteria. So again, I was heartbroken. Come 2018, I actually initially planned not to join <laughs> because at that time, my family from the US was on vacation and I had to focus on them. I thought that I wouldn't have enough time for all the challenges. But sometimes, when you least expect it, that's when everything falls into place. And thankfully, I was chosen finally as one of the ambassadors. And that was such a dream come true. The entire ambassador experience is memorable especially our trip to Japan, of course. It was so surreal that it took us a few hours, the following day even, to accept that we were indeed in the land of the rising sun. I especially enjoyed eating authentic Japanese food in Japan. I mean, you can't get any more authentic than that, right? <laughs> I cried a little when we ate legit takoyaki. Oh, and speaking of food, actually, in my free time, I like eating, obviously. <laughs> Some of my interests, <laughs> food, glorious food. So, yeah, I like taking pictures, videos of food from small businesses that I support. I like reading books, but lately, I've been more into watching 
movies and series online. But yeah, I still read my favorites. Harry Potter! <laughs> I collect Astro Boy toys, which I sometimes show to my students who are into anime or manga. I've been collecting them since I was in college. A lot of these were given to me by friends and family, but I also bought some of them. So kawaii! <laughs> Moreover, I am quite passionate about supporting my alma mater's sports teams, especially the men's basketball team which I've been doing for over 20 years. I like watching UAAP Games live. Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! We won! <laughs> but since we can't do that now, what I do is to guess on a friend's YouTube show. Welcome to Maroon Talk, the only segment dedicated for anything and everything you'd be fighting Maroons. Christine Conception, Casey, <laughs> from UP <laughs> Deleman. And interview coaches, athletes, and even fellow fans. One of the things I love about being a rare job tutor is that we get to have a flexible schedule. So I have time for hobbies like this, making videos of rare job events and also my travels, actually. I love documenting everything because, you know, for memories, this was taken during my latest trip in Japan, in Tokyo. And oh my god! Shiba! Kawaii! I died from cuteness. <laughs> and of course, I took a video also during the... I took videos during the Ambassador Program trip. This is one of them. Day, day four of our trip to Japan. And we are off to the UCC. The biggest thing that I brought back from the program would be the fact that Japanese people value their jobs a lot. No job is too small nor too big. They give quality service all the time. And I try to remember that in all my lessons, you know, give them the service that they expect or even go beyond that. And that helps me in getting more lessons, getting a lot of loyal students. Also, when I meet new students, it's much easier to build rapport. It becomes easier because they ask me about my experience in Japan. It makes them talk more, which also helps them improve their English. It makes me facilitate the, the lessons easier. So the Rare Job Ambassador program is really helpful in all aspects. I definitely believe that the Rare Job Ambassador program has been so helpful to me as a tutor, but also as a person. Aside from the Rare Job Ambassador program, I also enjoy joining Rare Job events, tutor gatherings if you may, and I get to mingle with my fellow tutors, the, the Rare Job staff, even our CEO, very friendly. We relax, play games, eat good food, and win some awesome prizes or Rare Job merchandise. <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> okay, I started teaching in September 2014. After three months, just three months, I became part of the top performing tutors. And I'm proud to say that I'm consistently part of that list. And I'm really proud. It makes me cry. <laughs> oh, no. Coming back from my errands, of course, I had to take a bath first. Then I'm going to grab a snack or some lunch. And I'm going to teach again in the, for, you know, my afternoon classes. I hope I don't get sleepy. Maybe I should prepare some coffee again. Hi, baby Chan. <laughs> can you hear me clearly? Okay. You can see me, right? <laughs> so how was your day? Good. What did you eat for dinner? Uh-huh. Konbawa! 
my day is about to end. So to recap, I was able to teach for eight hours today. I can actually do more, especially if I'm saving up for something. I can do 15, 10 to 15 hours. I was also able to pick up my laundry and buy a few essentials. Then right before going to bed, I'm going to do my skincare routine. <laughs> Sayonara!